Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play a Lethal Company with R2 Modman using Whiskey on Mac. Alright, so first things first, you're going to have to install Steam, but make sure it's the Steam EXE version. If you want to get the EXE version, just click the Windows icon here. Uh, make sure you don't click the blue button, because that will give you the Mac version. Alright, next, after you have that um, set up, uh, go to getwhiskey.app, and then click Download Latest. Um, yeah. So after you have these two installed and set up, all you have to do is just double click Whiskey and uh, just remember to run Steam. Uh, and it should be pinned for you later on. Uh, but after you have Steam open, what you want to do is install Lethal Company. And make sure it's in your local drive. Just click install. While it's installing, uh, remember to do this. This is a really important step. Right click on Lethal Company, go to properties, and in your launch options, Type in run as dot exe slash user colon administrator. Okay, so after you have that, you can click away, click X, and just let it verify. So once it's done downloading, we're going to click it once to see if it's working. Um, before that, I'm just going to be invisible real quick. Um, okay. So I'm just going to press play just to see if it works. Uh, just to clarify, when you press play, this one shouldn't have any mods. All right, so what that launch option just did is it made sure that we ran as an admin. So since we need admin permissions to also run the mods. All right, so I think it's working OK. I'm just going to turn it up. Turn. Okay, and once we know that everything's working, we can just quit. All right, cool. All right, so now we're going to install R2 Mom Before we do that, we have to close all the Steam windows. So what you want to do is go to your terminal um, and type in, here, let me just drag it here. Just type in pkill wine 64 preloader. What that basically does is it kills all the processes that are related to um, wine, which is what your whiskey opens. Um, if you closed it by clicking the X, it might like reopen. It's like a really weird bug. So make sure you run pkill wine 64 preloader in your terminal. All right, so after that's closed, now we're going to install uh, R2 Mom Man. So uh, we already have Steam here. So we're just gonna okay, go to R2 Mom Man download. Go to the first link and then click manual download. Don't click install with manager, just click manual download. All right, so after you have it downloaded, make sure you unzip it. Okay, so once you unzip it, we're gonna go back to whiskey and now we're going to just run the installer. So in our installer, you can just go to downloads, EVKR, r 2 man and then click the setup. Open. All right, so what should appear is a window that lets you install R2 Modman. Um, so we're just gonna wait for that to, uh, to open up. Okay, so now just click only for me crossover next. Um, if your, your path should look something like this, if it isn't, I'll just make sure you know what you're doing, um, but this should be the default path. Uh, and just make sure it's in like program slash R2 Modman. All right, so we're just gonna install and just wait for it a bit. All right, so it should be done. But now when I click finish, it's gonna crash. So let's see. And it crashed, nice. So it encounters like a serious problem and it has to close. So we're just gonna close it um, and something, and to like close it completely, do what we did last time. P kill line, line 64 dash preloader. We're also gonna like keep looping. All right, so we killed it off and we're good now. All right, so, okay, this looks kind of bug. I'm just gonna close whiskey again. Oh, uh, don't check. All right, so what you wanna do now is to pin the actual R2 moment that you just installed. Before we do that though, we have to change some bottle configurations. So what you wanna do is click bottle configuration here. All right, so after you click that, click open wine configuration and you should have like a new window pop up. All right, so what you wanna do is go to libraries, 
New Aurora for library, you want to click the drop down menu, type win HTTP. Click the first thing, add, make sure you click apply. This is really important. Click apply, click OK. All right, so we have our bottle configuration set up. Now you want to pin the program. So we can just call this anything you want. I'm just going to call it R2 Modman. Um, and then now we have to browse for it. All right, so if you want to browse for it, you have to start with drive underscore C. You can get to this path by clicking this uh, button over here, open C colon drive. That's where my cursor is. Um, so yeah, after you click that, you can like bookmark it if you want, but that's where your drive C should be. All right, so after you get to your drive C, what you want to do is go to um, users and then go to crossover. And then afterwards, go to app data and then go to local and then go to programs. All right, so you just see an R2 mod man, just click that and then click the exe. Okay, so here's the path. I'll probably I'll leave it again, or you can rewind if you want to see what path it was. It was users, crossover, app data, local, programs, R2 mod man. All right, so open that up and pin it. Okay, but make sure you don't open it up yet, it's going to crash. What you want to do is right click click config. And then what you want to type in is for the arguments is dash dash in dash process dash GPU. And then you can just press enter and then go back. And then what should happen is it should open up correctly. So let's see. Okay, so R2 Mod Man, or sorry, R2 Mod Man is now working. Um, so yeah, once you have this up, what you want to do is search for Lethal Company. If you only want to use Lethal Company, just click Set as Default. It's like a lot more convenient. Um, if not, and you have other games you want to do like Risk of Rain, just click Select Game. But I'm gonna click Set as Default. All right, so after you get that working, um, we're just gonna wait a bit. We're gonna create a new profile. I'll call it Tutorial. Oops, Tutorial. Create, select profile, um, and you should get to this page. All right, so you might have R2 Man all like opened up, but it's still not going to work. So what you want to do is go into your settings and configure the paths. So this is really important because there's two paths that haven't been set up. Um, I think it's something to do with like the game pouring toolkit, but what you have to do basically is to set these two up. So we're gonna set this one up. If you click it. It should automatically like find where Lethal Company is. So you can just click the Lethal Company EXE, select it, it should be good. For Steam, just click it, click Steam EXE, and it should be good. All right, so you might have a different path. I think with my personal computer, like my other one, um, I did have it on my Z disk, but this one's on my C disk, and then all you have to do is just look out for this path from Steam, Steam Apps to Common to Lethal Company. That's the main one. And then for the Steam directory, you just want to go to Program Files to Steam. So you could have like a different path. There could be more things before Program Files, but this is like the main one you want to look out for. So after you have that set up, all you have to do is go to Online, and then make sure you install Bepin X. This is like the really important mod that lets you use mods. So you just want to download that, download with dependencies. Okay, and to check that it works, all you have to do is get this uh, mod called More Company. Uh, this mod basically like lets you play with more than four people. Uh, you can disable it later if you want, but it's just really helpful to see if our mods work. All right, so um, let's just download that too. Okay, so now we just have two mods. We're gonna install more later if you want, um, but it'll be really helpful and you'll see later why. Okay, so after you have all of this ready, um, I think you can just click start modded and it will get steam up and working. So let's just wait a few seconds and it should be, uh, working with mods. All right, so Steam is now up, go to library. I think R2Mile will just auto open it, but you can just, yeah. 
All right, so if it works, we should see a green icon at the bottom, right? Let's hope it works. And it does. Okay, and you know that it like definitely works if you see more company replace the title Lethal Company. Um, and just to show that it works, I'll just test the world for you guys. Um, there aren't, I don't have like other mods with me, so you won't see that much, but just to show you that you can still move around and play the game with mods. Alright, so everything seems to work, and now we can just quit. Um, yeah, and you should be good to go. So next time, if you ever want to run with mods, all you have to do is uh, go to Whiskey, double click R2 Mod Man, this comes up, and then click Start Modded. And that should work. Um, if you want to add any more mods, just um, go to the online page. You can add things like, um, like more suits, um, or anything else that you want. And it should work. Alright, so hope that worked for you. If you guys have any more questions or problems, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Alright, so I'm here with my friends and we're going to test out the suits. Okay, so everyone pick a random color. Okay, so as you can see, like, they all change. Can you guys do like some emotes just to test? <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, and I'll just like pull the lever just to show that it doesn't crash. Okay, let's all like run outside and then we should be good. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think everything's working. Okay, thanks everyone.